Hi, Virgo. So, Virgo. Very interesting. We see a lot of cup energy for you this month. And we begin with the Nine of Cups. And the Nine of Cups is this wonderful card. Let me see if I can focus in here. There we go. It's a card of feeling content with what you have built, with what you have created, either at home or in your business or within your family. And you can see the man here is sitting. He looks very pleased. He's sitting um, underneath his cups, arms folded. And so um, behind this, there's a sense that you've probably worked pretty hard and maybe sacrificed to achieve these cups. So why not enjoy it? Why not find pleasure and um, fulfillment from the things that you have accomplished? Now, whether you are focused on um, the material side, that you have specific goals that you've been trying to achieve, or working on a spiritual abundance, um, here's a card that speaks to happiness and feeling good and feeling content. So May, you're going to feel good and you're going to feel content. The Nine of Cups is also a wish card, so that if you make a wish for something that you're hoping for, that it should come true. Along with the Nine of Cups, we have the Hermit. And this is a major arcana card. This is a card that is asking you to look within, to dig deep, and to take time away, perhaps, from the hectic part of life and all the things that are going on and its focus on you. So in May, take some time to focus on what you're doing and think about where you are now, where you've been, where you're hoping to go. He's holding this little lantern, and it's a lantern of light, and it's the turning the light within to find enlightenment, to be illuminated on your situation. So a direct message from the cards to you, which is you need to take some time for yourself maybe a break from others, something where you can um, touch base with how you're feeling. And so, interestingly enough, with the Hermit, here we have the Temperance card, also Major Arcana. And the Temperance card is about uh, finding uh, equilibrium, finding the balance between all of the elements of your life, and really connecting and finding balance between your mental, your emotional, your physical, and your spiritual side. And this this flow of water from cup to cup. It's trying to go with the flow. It's listening to your intuition, to your spirit guides, what's in your ear. But it's really telling you to take, take the middle ground. Don't go to extremes. Don't overdo things. Find some uh, balance within your life. And how do we find this balance? We, we apply good practices, enough sleep, nutrition, things to think about for May. But we also, we also don't um, run on the fringes. You know, we, we keep kind of to the center. We just think about being temperate or being moderate. And then we're able to restore and we're able to re-energize. A beautiful, beautiful card. With the beautiful temperance card is the Ace of Cups. This is a card of happiness. This is a card of more abundance. And it's the possibility of um, an emotional connection with someone else, meeting someone that can fulfill a really happy place in your heart. Uh, could be uh, whether you're dating or you're just spending time with your friends. There's a lot of love here in this card. And this card is also sending a message of having self-love. And the self-love really um, goes well with the temperance card, which is um, temperance is to find... Uh, Find balance for yourself to take care of yourself. And here's the, the Ace of Cups, which is here. It's a gift or blessing from the universe that you're going to find happiness. You're going to feel happy. You're going to feel uh, joyful and have good health and good outcomes. So look 
for opportunities. The, the emotions are overflowing. It's a good place to be. And something is happening that's going to put a smile on your face. I just see this because it's so, you know, it's telling a nice little story, as the cards always do. And May is going to be an opportunity for you to get with your friends, to get with people, either colleagues or dear friends, and to raise a glass, have a toast. Again, communicate, catch up, share, have fun. You know, catching up with your buds is a wonderful release. And it fosters this sense of community. And, uh, you know, it's just um, something to look forward to. So that if developments are occurring from your wishes coming true, you may be wishing for a relationship. You may be wishing for that emotional connection. Been thinking about it. And then you're, you're getting yourself together physically, spiritually, emotionally, and looking for opportunities. And so we have time spent with friends. Maybe there's uh, an offer coming from there or some news to be shared. But it might be celebrating that something is coming your way. And then we have the King of Cups, this wonderful water sign. He is a master of his emotions, sensitive, empathetic, caring, so whether you're meeting someone like this who has these qualities, it's a possibility that they're going to bring to you this lovely, um, tender touch. And it's going to be someone who's a good listener, someone who is on your wavelength. And uh, the, the water signs, when they are in their, in their right place, in their good place, very loving, romantic, always get a sense with the King of Cups that it's someone who is a healer, a teacher, a nurturer of some sort, compassionate, someone who thinks about um, thinks about the world at large and making sure that they're taken care of as well. You may be meeting someone who has these qualities right here next to the Ace of Cups. And we also have the Knight of Swords. And the Knight of Swords is a man of action. And I feel, always feel that he's getting into a situation. He is in full stride on this horse. He's got his sword in the air. And often sword cards in tarot bring us ideas about um, uh, truth and justice and fairness and making decisions. Here you get a sense that he's really going right for a situation. He's going to jump right in. And this could be seeking truth, seeking to involve in a situation that's going to uh, perhaps bring change. But the Knight of Swords here is um, someone who is going to charge right in regardless of those gray skies, regardless of the wind blowing back the trees, feels committed and probably feels very right in what his actions are in moving in. So what does this tell, you, tell us for you, Virgo, is that it, you may be getting right involved in something new. Relationship, emotionally speaking, that um, you have choices here, you have some energies here of um, either experience or this um, active, go for it, truth seeking kind of person. And it could be you that you're getting right to the heart of the matter and, uh, you know, putting yourself out there. So with the Knight of Swords, we have the Page of Wands. And the Page of Wands is this youthful energy. It could be a youthful person, it could be someone that you know, it could be qualities that you. Um, should listen to or look for in May. And the Page of Wands is someone who is wanting to get involved, wants the action, wants to get out there, is seeking knowledge and seeking experiences. So to me, this is a reinforcement of perhaps your dreams have to do with these experiences and these emotional experiences and connections. You're hoping to um, invite that into your life. 
You've done some thinking about it. You are restoring yourself. The universe is saying, keep your eyes open. Could be coming your way. And it could be in the form of someone who is experienced, who's wise, sensitive, loving, fair. You have friends that may be introducing um, opportunities for this enrichment, for this emotional connection, the dynamic relationships. And you may feel like you need to dive right in. You need to get involved. You may, leave, may need to leave some other thoughts behind and just get yourself in there. And it's certainly the page of wands. It's the enthusiasm of, of, of pursuing your desire, of pursuing your passion. So it is, it's just, it's a month of emotions. It's a month of finding balance. And it's a month of looking for answers. You put yourself in the right place, in the right time, in the right, you know, atmosphere, and the universe is going to answer. They're going to provide. And that's really the wonderful thing about um, life. What I don't see is I don't see pentacles which is a focus typically on career and planning and the slow moving, um, some may say hardworking plotting energy. I don't see that. I see that this is a month for you of emotions, of you're hoping for something and it may very well come true. Let's get a little more information from the Oracle cards. I witness the darkness and call on the light with my prayer. Thank you, universe, for guiding me to perceive this fear through the eyes of the teacher of love. Well, and that's pretty much, uh, you know, there's some love here for you, Virgo. There's some love, particularly with the Ace of Cups. Not only love of others, but love of self. The teacher of love. And maybe the King of Cups is the teacher of love. That this is going to be something that is uh, uh, going to be very fruitful for you in terms of building a, an emotional connection that is rewarding and that is satisfying. And finally, let's get a little more information on love. Satisfaction, you let the energy of love guide you to self-approval so that others no longer define who you are. That satisfaction is certainly reinforced by the Nine of Cups. Unlike Mick Jagger saying, I can't get no satisfaction, you are going to be able to find satisfaction. You are probably going to have a dream answered so you know, keep your eyes open, listen to the messages, look around you. Good things are happening every day. And I think that Virgo, things are going to happen really nicely for you in May. So I hope that you found something here that resonated with you today. If you did, and if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. It's a great way to show support for all the videos. And uh, we have a wonderful community as well like, share, or comment, and come back again for another reading. And I thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I hope you have a great May. Bye-bye.